My name is Marcus Smith, and I'm the project manager on Resistance Fall of Man. My name is Josh Wall, and I'm the writer on Resistance Fall of Man. On this game, we approached it sort of from a, from a story-driven uh, perspective. We looked at the alternate history and really tried to develop a story around the plan, which is bring sort of that ratchet and clank style innovation to our weapons, bring it to a familiar setting, and let the player just have fun. Well, we have a lot of creative minds here at Insomniac. One of the things that makes this great place to work is that everyone has a ton of input. And uh, from the top down, we have a real sense of where we want to go, but everyone helps us get there. We took several shots at really nailing down our theme, and the one that stuck with everyone was this alternate history, where we could take things that were familiar and really bend them to our whim. Um, one problem that I think some of us have with the alien shooters or fighting in dungeons is just it doesn't mean anything to you. You don't relate to it. I think there's been some speculation that because we're set in England and we're set around the period of World War II, and we have soldiers that were another World War II knockoff with just uh, some, some bad guys, some monsters added to it. And this is a lot more than that. This world is going to expand and it's going to grow in ways I don't think people are expecting just yet. It's very grounded, it's very solid, and it has a long way to go before it's told its tale. Uh, working with an alternate history is a lot of fun. It's not nearly as easy as you'd think. You can't just make up anything. Uh, you have to build in a realistic world. Our world is very grounded. There's a logic to it all. So working in that context has been very liberating. We're able to incorporate any number of ideas uh, with just the right shoehorns. Well, we chose the story sort of based on what everybody was feeling um, internally. There was a lot of changes along the way. We had gone from a futuristic sci-fi story that jumped throughout time to uh, set in World War I, to set sort of modern day World War II, all over the map. We ended up with 1951 as this kind of growth period. I mean, it's you think of the 50s as the time when America was really booming economically. Post-World War uh, excitement was there, and we just really started to think about how different that experience would be because it reflects so directly on our lives. It's one generation back. The greatest influence on the project for me so far has been the other departments in Insomniac. Everyone contributes something, so we might have a new gun creep in, we might have a new creature show up, and anytime that happens, it expands the world, and we fold it into this giant mix we have. Uh, we have a story that we want to tell that is building to a climax, and we're going to go through that one step at a time. In picking the narrative style for Resistance Fall of Man, we decided to go with an outsider. Uh, there's a lot of people that are very interested in the main character of uh, Nathan Hale, and by coming at it from another angle, we're able to get across that interest very early on. We're able to raise questions that the player doesn't have answers to yet, and we're able to get this mode of kind of studying the player across. It allows us also to bring a lot of expertise to the, the presentation. The character himself doesn't know a whole lot. It's a very much a learning experience for Hale. But Parker, our narrator, is able to weigh in with a lot of issues because she's been there from the start of the Chimera invasion. There has been some, some research into the Chimera. There is a relationship there that is being explored. Uh, they aren't brand new to the Brits. While Hale has encountered them for the first time at the beginning of the game, the British, the folks in Europe and Asia, are more aware of them and have a history that we're not aware of yet. That history is going to grow. Uh, one of the things that I think is unfortunate in a lot of World War II shooters is that you're just a generic guy and you're just participating in this battle that means nothing to you, you're just a cog. What we have instead is a very vital character whose role will become much more significant as the property unfolds. Resistance Fall of Man is coming out November on the PlayStation 3.